What's going on guys? Hey, I just got home from work and I saw this baby on my front porch. You ever heard of them before? It's a company called Petra. They do sprayers and this is an unboxing. So guys, I guess I'll just get right to it. But uh, my uh, Chapin backpack sprayer, my four gallon sprayer, the battery uh, seems to not be working very well on. So I was in the market for a new sprayer and I was looking around and I did one of those Google searches for reviews, you know, top backpack sprayers or whatever. And this company called Petra came up as the number one backpack sprayer on this particular review uh, platform. So I was like, huh. So I said, let's go to YouTube. Let's see what I can find on YouTube. And I saw a video from uh, Longcology, fairly big channel. I think he's a pretty big channel. Uh, and uh, very great. The, the videos were, were, were outstanding. And I thought he did a pretty good job of reviewing uh, the product. And it was his the uh, six and a half gallon backpack sprayer. And it could fit on this little cart and it had a hundred foot of hose on it. This right here is the big brother to that guy. So <laughs> the, why did I choose this one? Well, I figured I'd just kind of take a chance on it because I didn't have a budget for one of the big rigs. So uh, I wanted to uh, give this guy a try because it had a few appealing features to it. One of them being the 100 foot hose. I only do small lawns, so I thought a 100 foot hose would do pretty well. And it also had a 13 gallon tank. So I could do uh, potentially five lawns out of a single tank, depending on how big they are. As, as little as few as three lawns. I don't think I have too many that are bigger than that. So. Um, I got this and it was something unique and it was something different and it just might fit a niche in my business, especially for the spraying part. So I'm going to not waste any more time, guys, and I'm just going to get this package right on open. Um, and in the spirit of the rescheduled uh, GIE, I'm wearing a couple things that I got from my buddies down there in Louisiana, which is Jay and Christine from Jay's Crazy Cuts. They got me this hat last year and this little knife. And I got to say, this is the first time that I've ever... Uh, <laughs> use this knife, but I've wore this hat many times. So I'm going to use this knife and I'm going to open this up and we'll see what's in this box. This isn't a review on the knife, but it seems to be doing a pretty good job. And I guess while I'm uh, getting this all out, I'll kind of tell you a little bit of something because I was very interested because this is not a typical setup for a pro it's more like a homeowner type of thing so i was kind of worried and i had some concerns about this particular unit one of them was being the hose uh in the pump and uh because uh, it's battery operated i don't even know how many volts it is i'm just assuming that it's going to be sufficient for the application being it's a, it's a it's their flagship sprayer which means this is like what they really like hang their hat on uh this is their favorite sprayer so the other one got pretty pretty good remarks and uh, so I'm guessing this one's probably going to be very, very similar. But I called them and I got a girl named Jenny and she'd be working for the company for about two months, she said. And she loves the company. It's a small company. Uh, I want to say they're out of Pennsylvania, but I'm not sure. But this is an American made product. It's manufactured in the United States, distributed. I got this one off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description for you all so you know where to get it if you're interested in something like this. And uh, Jenny was super, super nice and she was really happy with the uh, with the company uh, and that kind of says a lot because if you treat your employees right, maybe they'll put out a quality product for you. So I uh, really enjoyed my conversation with Jenny. So I, uh, I took the plunge and bought this sprayer. So let's get into it. All right. First piece of cardboard gone. And uh, we've got, looks like a lot of the uh, accessories sitting right on top is very nicely packaged. Um, looks like you got, it's in one giant bag, so I'm going to just rip this open, really. Oh, wow. I'm going to need that knife again. It is, like, ridiculously zip-tied together to make sure it all stays where it should go. Holy mackerel. Maybe I need a bigger knife. Jay, Christine, if you're watching this, I need a bigger knife. There we go. So there's our hose. It's a blue hose. It's actually got brass fittings on it. 
So I really like that. I did notice that. Uh, and that was one of the reasons why I decided uh, this might be a good option because it didn't have those black plastic screw on fittings. These have brass fittings uh, and, and it's compressed onto the hose. So that looks like a quality hose. Uh, it looks like it's a smaller hose. Like it could be like a, like a half inch hose, maybe a five sixteenths diameter on the inside. Pro could be three eighths. I'm not sure. What else we got here? <sighs> Goodness gracious. Let me tell you, they use some pretty strong zip ties on this and it's all wrapped. Or it's in this bubble wrap. It's got some nice bubble wrap. It's not even like the poppy kind, it's like tubes. So that, that looks pretty nice. Um, okay, that's attached. You guys can't see it yet, but I'm fixing to get it out. Now we got, it uh, looks like all the accessories. These are the nozzles and all kinds of stuff. So we'll, uh, yeah, why don't we just get into that, huh? It's got a little Ziploc bag. I've got some uh, plumber's tape. I saw on, the, on one of their video, they got a, a videos out there kind of just gonna, to get you started on each one of their pieces of equipment. And they said that this was gonna come in with it because you wanna wrap each fitting with that uh, to make sure there's no leaks when you put it together. Looks like we got the instruction manual. We got the crank. It's a man. It's going to be a manual crank. We've got the uh, the flow control nozzle. Um, I'm not sure. We'll get into that. Again, it's it's got a brass fitting on here. Now this side's plastic, obviously, but this is a brass fitting, so that's impressive. We got all kinds of nozzles with this thing. Um, looks like this is the charging pack. It looks like. Yeah, I bet you just plug it into the wall and recharge it so you don't have the batteries. I think it might be sealed, I'm not sure. You get a spray gun with it. So this is for like the, the longest uh, sprays. So if you want to, I think it sprays up to like 25, maybe even 50 feet, I can't remember. You got a dual nozzle right here. So you can, uh, I guess it just expands your spray pattern, which that might actually be really nice for me. I'm not sure, yeah, we'll see how it works. We've got ourselves a, a cone. So I believe it's got eight in a circular pattern cone nozzle which is a little different i was hoping i was going to be like the lesco uh gun but i'm not sure that's going to do it and, and i might actually even try to see if i don't like any of these nozzles i might try to adapt it for that lesco gun um and because that's really really popular and it puts out a lot of flow so that gets your job done faster we get a fan tip nozzle i assume that i'm probably going to use this one quite a bit um here's an adjustable um you know just your typical you can make it into a a uh, large cone or a mist, or you can make it into a straight stream. But it looks like we've got an, a brass adapter fitting. Uh, another similar plastic type of thing, adjustable. I don't know what this is, and here's another adjustable. I'm gonna find out what all these are, and then I'll probably do a review later on. So that's what all came in the accessory bag. I'm gonna put all those back in here, and then we'll get into the, the actual unit itself. But so far, it it, uh, it looks uh, pretty impressive. Looks like it's high quality stuff. And that was uh, that was what I was hoping for because it says on the box, what does it say? Rock solid, built rock solid. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for rock solid. Okay. Ugh. All right, I'm going to try and get the plastic uh, out of here and get the box out of the way. So you guys can kind of see what's going on. But this is part of the, the, the hose reel. These are the sides for the hose reel. And I guess there's some other parts up in here. Um, I'm not sure what this is yet because the wheels are on this unit. So, oh, this is the wand. This is the wand, the sprayer wand. So it looks like I'm gonna, there's gonna be some assembly required. Not a problem though. All right. So here's our sprayer. Um, this looks kind of like a little toolbox going on, but this is actually where your pump is. Uh, and here's actually the hose that's going to go, I don't know if it's the inlet or the outlet, but it, it goes in one side and out, or this is the output, this one's the input. It's got these little convenient storage things right here. Oh, what is going on? 
There we go. And it looks like extra gaskets to me. That looks like extra gaskets, so that's cool. Um, up here, let's see if I can bring you up here. Um, it's like this little control center. Oops. So you got a voltmeter. So that's nice to tell you where your battery power is at. Here's your plug in, your power switch. You got a fuse and you got even got a USB port that you can actually uh, charge your phone, whatever you want to do with it. And I'm not sure what this knob does, but we'll figure it out. Let's open this guy up and see. Oh, dang it. Looks like we got a. Ugh. I think we got to do some more zip ties. It's all zip tied all crazy. Remember to cut away from yourself. Don't stab yourself in the eye. Okay, here we go. This is cool. Here's our battery. Something like a motorcycle kind of battery, really. And then here's your pump. So you can see your output line, your input line. And then you got all, all the other things up here. And here's actually the uh, USB deal. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but I'll have to look in the directions. Check it out, huh? So that's pretty cool. It does not look like it's waterproof. And it looks like there's actually, you see that down there? Looks like there's an extra fuse in there. Oops. See if I can get you. There it is. Looks like there's an extra fuse. So it looks like they're giving some extra parts, so that's nice. That could be good, could be bad, I don't know. Um, okay. So I'll close this back up. But I don't think that this is a waterproof case though. I don't believe that's a waterproof case, but it looks like it could be resistant because there was a lip over here. So the water should just kind of come off of it um, if you needed to spray this unit down. But I'm not gonna vouch to say whether or not it's actually waterproof because I don't think it is. So. Uh, let's see here. It looks like this, uh, this cart here uh, it's pretty pretty rigid. What is that like one inch bar? Uh, we got some. Uh, I don't I don't think these are pneumatic, but they're they're semi hard tires, rubber tires. Um, oh, this is the hose reel as well. Uh, this so this is actually probably going to get taken off because there's a there's a bar. It's actually in here too. Okay, the whole thing comes off and and just like a hand hand truck, it's going to go in here and then the hose reel will be up here. Uh, so we got, it looks like we got a wide mouth opening right here with a filter in there. So you, as you're filling it, it's going to strain uh, any contaminants out of it. Uh, it looks like it is a wide mouth. I don't know what you say, like maybe like a four inch, something like that. And this is a 13 gallon tank. So I don't know if there's much more to it, honestly, guys. Ah, the yellow thing. The yellow thing holds the wand. Remember I held that up. And I'm like, what is this guy? It, it holds the wand. So uh, you'll be able to attach it to you while you're going. And then um, it's got these front wheels. These front wheels are on casters and they're lockable. So I think that's pretty cool, but it, it remains to be seen whether or not that's gonna uh, go through uh, grass very well, turf. So my, my idea behind this is because it has a hundred foot of hose that I'll actually, uh, oops, got wrapped up. What I'll actually probably end up doing is um, just parking it like on the sidewalk or something like that and kind of like a centralized location for the front yard. My 100 foot of hose should take care of most of the front yard. And then I roll it to the backyard and then I can uh, probably do the same thing. Something's relatively out of the way and the 100 foot hose should actually uh, allow me to walk over the entire uh, yard. Um, so the idea is that it's a larger tank. Uh, at least three times, uh, greater than three times the size of my four gallon backpack sprayer. Um, and so I'll be able to do more, more volume with less, less mixing. And then I'll actually have less, less reach or, or not, I'm sorry, I'll extend my reach from the tank and it won't be on my back. So, um, the problem with backpack sprayers, sometimes they leak out the cap and it'll go down your back and things like that. So I want to reduce exposure. And that's one of the reasons why this was an appealing design for me as well, as opposed to a backpack sprayer. So it looks like a pretty simple, pretty simple, uh, outfit right here. Um, I think there's, oh, pressure control. That little knob that was over here, that's a pressure control. This has a, a rating of 80 PSI and you can actually throttle that back if you wanted to. Uh, so that, that's actually something else that's different that a lot of your backpack sprayers don't have. Now the Petra, I noticed backpack sprayer 
did. I think it's called the HD 5000. It had a pressure control as well. Um, so check that out if you're if you're in for a backpack spare. And that also goes on a cart, but it wasn't as big in the, in, uh, and it was an upright cart. So I was worried about it tipping over and things like that. So this looks like it could actually uh, be a really, really nice thing for me. So anyways, guys, that's about all, all that I know about this piece of equipment so far. But I wanted to make sure that I got uh, an, an unboxing video of this. And then uh, we'll just kind of move on and I'll use it a few times and I'll do a review on and I'll put that video out too. Uh, if you're worried about, uh, because I put this video out before my live, don't worry, I'm still going to do the live. This is just an unscheduled video and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you at the live. Hey, it starts at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sunday, okay? So I, if, you're, if, if this is the first time you visit my channel, I just appreciate you dropping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you can, and then drop by on my live and we'll chit chat, okay? So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching. Pray for me. You know I'm praying for you. Peace out, guys.